everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be trying out and reviewing the new Models Prefer Sunsetter eyeshadow palette. So this is what the packaging looks like. Really cute. I picked this up from Priceline I think about two weeks ago. Um, I'm pretty sure it was $24.95. So yeah, I thought that would be a really nice palette to try in today's video. So if you guys are interested to see the look that I create then just keep watching. So this is what the palette looks like. The outside is just like white. It has like a pink a hot pink reflective writing on it. it just says models prefer sunset eyeshadow palette um, on the back it has like a little demonstration just of like some colors how to use them um, things like that and then this is the inside of the palette please excuse the mess on my desk so yeah it has some really nice colors in there those are like a lot of the colors that I like to use lots of warm tones and some shimmers in there as well so that will be really nice to try out I'll just do some swatches for you guys as well just so that you can see how some of the colors perform. So that's some of the colors there. So they look really nice. The shimmers are really pigmented as well. They feel really buttery too, so they'll be interested to try out. So first off, I'm going to start by priming my eyes and I'm just going to use the MAC Soft Ochre um, Pro Longwear Paint Pot and I'm just going to prime my eyes. So I just like to get some on my finger like that and then just go over my lid. In today's video as well, I'm just going to be using some tape and I'm just going to use that for the outer corners of the eye just to create that really nice wing effect. I just like to take about that much and then I'll just put it on the back of my hand just to get rid of all the stickiness just so that it doesn't pull on my skin and then I'll just put it on the outside of my eye and then just line it up with my eyebrow in the corner of my eye. I look a little bit funny but it makes the eyeshadow look nice. <laughs> First shade that I'm going to go in with is this one here and it's called Lantern and I'm just going to use that to set the eye primer. Just gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit. There we go, that's better. So the next shade that I'm gonna go in with is this one here and it's called A Glow and I'm just gonna run that straight through the crease just on a big fluffy brush. Okay, so that first color blended really nicely. Um, I will say though, if you guys can see in the pan there, just here, there is quite a lot of um, kickback from the shadow. Like as soon as I put my brush in there, it started going everywhere. Um, to me, I don't really mind that. It doesn't really bother me if there's any kick up in the pan. As long as the eyeshadow performs well, I don't really care if it like kicks up that much. Um, but yeah, so that first color blended quite nicely. This is a really beautiful color though. It is nice and peachy. I really quite enjoy it. And as I said before, these shadows are really blending out really easily as well. I'm just going to build up that color just a little bit more. The next color that I'm going to go in with is this one here and it's called Flashing and I'm just going to run that straight through the crease as well. as well to remember um, when you do pick up the shadow just make sure that you tap off any of the excess as it does pick up quite a lot of shadow. Next shade that I'm going to go in with is this one here and it's called Blaze. I'm just going to run this straight through the crease as well. Okay I don't know if you guys can see but this color is being a little bit more difficult to blend than the other colors that I have used. It's just looking a little bit patchy just in the inner corners. So I'm just blending, um, just taking that first brush that we used just to try and blend it out a little bit more. Going with the color Torch and I'm just gonna put that on the outer corners. going to keep building up that shadow color and then we will blend it out. I must say as well there is not a lot of fallout. There is a little bit here um, from that last color that we just used but other than that everything else um, seems to be looking pretty good. Now I'm just going to take um, a big fluffy brush again and then I'm just going to blend out that red color.
Now I'm going to take a big fluffy brush that has no extra product on it and I'm just going to blend everything out. After the lid colour, I'm going to go in with a dry brush first and see how it applies. And if I don't like it, then we'll just wet our brush with some Fix Plus and then we'll go in with it again. So for the lid, I'm going to use this colour here called Beacon. It's not overly pigmented. I'm going to take my MAC Fix Plus and I'm just going to spray the brush just to intensify that shadow a little bit more. The shimmer shadow is okay. I feel like it could be a little bit brighter. It definitely swatches um, more pigmented than it does when it goes on the eye, even using the MAC Fix Plus on the brush. Um, it intensified it a little bit, um, but not as much as I would hope. So, mm, yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I'm going to try applying it with my finger on this eye and see if that does anything different. Why does this not like me? Here we go. Okay. I just like soaked my brush in Fix Plus and now that's applying a lot better. Okay, so soak your brush first and then it applies a lot better. Okay, I think I'm happy with the eyes and how they are looking. So I'm just gonna take off this tape. That line is just so satisfying. <laughs> Now I'm just going to take some micellar water on a cotton pad and just clean up any of the fallout underneath. Okay, now I'm just going to go apply some fake lashes and mascara and then I'll be back. Okay, so I've got my lashes on for mascara. I use the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I really enjoy this one. It really makes my lashes nice and black and long. And for lashes, I use the Lash Line Silk Lashes in the style Honey. Okay, moving on to primer. I'm going to take the Smashbox um, Photo Finish so, Ch so Chill Coconut Primer in the Coconut Scent. And I'm just going to spritz my face with that. And then I'm going to go in with the NYX Angel Veil Primer as well. foundation today I'm using the wet n wild photo focus foundation in the shade nude ivory then I'm just gonna go in with my L'Oreal sponge and blend it all out I have really been enjoying this sponge lately um, I don't think you can get it in Australia um, but if you are in the US and you can pick it up or wherever you are um, yeah I would definitely recommend it just really blends out the foundation nicely um, and yeah, I've really been enjoying it. Now for concealer, I'm going in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 10. I've really been enjoying this concealer. If you have um, dry under eyes, this will be really good for you. It's really nice and hydrating. It doesn't make me look like um, I have like dry under eyes or anything like that. And it doesn't crease badly either, which is like another reason why I've really been enjoying it. Now to set that under eye, I'm going in with the Too Faced Peach Perfect Setting Powder. My god, this tastes so good. Every time I'm applying this, I always manage to get like a whiff of it in my mouth and it tastes so good. Now just to set the rest of the face, I'm going in with the Australis um, Fresh and Flawless in the shade Light Beige. Just to add some warmth to the skin because I feel like I'm looking a little bit white at the moment. I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula by the Bronzer and just bronze up the skin.
For blush, I'm going in with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. For highlighter, I'm going in with the Model's Own Highlighter in the shade Golden Sand. Oh my god, look at that glow. This is definitely one of my favourite drugstore highlighters. Running that down my nose and just on my cupid bow. Now I'm just going to go in with a big fluffy brush just to make sure that everything is blended nicely. Next up for eyebrows, I'm going in with the e.l.f. little duo that I have. Sorry, there's not a name on this so I don't actually know the proper name. And then I'm just going in with the Model Co More Brows um, Brow Gel. This is in the shade Light Medium. Now jumping back onto the eyes, I'm just going to do the lower lash line. I'm just going to go in with the shade Aglow and then I'm just going to put that straight from outer corner to inner corner. Next shade I'm going to go in with is Flashing. And then the shade Blaze. And the shade Torched. Now for lips, I'm just going to use the Astralis Velour Lips and Matte Lip Cream in the shade Paris. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of this Essence Vibrant Shock Lip Paint in the shade Voya. And then just to set the face, I'm going in with the Mecca Max Banana Bake Blurring Setting Spray. So that is the end of the makeup tutorial. I really enjoyed how the eyes turned out. I really liked the palette. Everything blended really nicely. Um, just with the shimmers though, obviously you need to like soak your brush um, to just to get that really intense color payoff. Um, but other than that, the shadows blended out really nicely. I did have a bit of trouble um, with that shade. Which one was it? I think it was Blaze. Um, it was a little bit hard to blend out. It came a little bit patchy on the eye. Um, but once everything was on together, it did come together really nicely. Um, but yeah, for a drugstore palette for, you know, $24, I think this is really good. I will definitely be using this again. And I do, um, yeah, I do really like the look that I created. So if you guys did enjoy this makeup tutorial, leave me a comment down below if you guys have tried out this palette and what your thoughts are on it. And yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!
Just run away. 